All right, everybody ready to go? Okay, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm extremely proud of our team. <clears throat> you know, this was a game that, uh, you know, a lot of teams could have came out and flopped around uh, in the first half, you know, especially with, with what happened last week with us and them. Uh, real proud of our leadership that we answered the bell. Uh, we came out of the gate uh, playing extremely well on really all three phases. Our defense was playing well in the first half. Our offense got in a rhythm. Um, you know, and played extremely well. And I thought our special teams. The second half, it was just putting the game away, and uh, we got a chance to to play some uh, young guys, which always helps. That's three weeks in a row that you know our twos and threes got a chance to play, which does nothing but help you as far as that goes. Really, what stood out to me is no turnovers was big. Um, you know, that's, that's that was a point of emphasis. Obviously, after we had the five turnovers, I, I guess week three, uh, we've been proved in that area. Carry on, Johnson. Is a warrior. I'm very proud of him. He was probably close to 90 percent. You know, I have a f strong feeling he'll get healthier and healthier as the as the season goes. Right there, we were smart with him this week, but uh, just an impact player. Daniel Carlson, I guess now he's all-time leading scorer in the history of the SEC. So I think that is speaks for itself. We're extremely proud of him. Um, you know, I just told our team just a minute ago. I really like where we're at at the midway point. Um, you know, we're starting to kind of come together. We got to figure out a way to get better each week. But really, the message was, uh, you know, this was kind of a setup type game that a lot of teams, you know, wouldn't have came out and played their best football. And I felt like our team did in the first half and and put the game away. Questions. How much did you work on the running game this week, guys, and how pleased are you with the results? Yeah, you know, we, we, we had that one lineup last week, and, you know, I was saying that, you know, as long as we keep that uh, experience group will get better and better. Um, and I thought we did some good things today running the football. Um, you know, our goal every week is to rush for 200 yards, and looks like we rushed for 326. So, um, you know, I thought they did a, a better job. You know, uh, we just got to keep improving each week in that area. And if obviously, if we can run the football effectively, our play actions and everything else goes with it, uh, makes it a little easier. What made Carry on so effective today? Because this was by far the best performance of his career. I mean, he's played pretty good the last three weeks, really. And, uh, you know, he played good the first week. You know, the thing about carry on, he's one of the toughest guys we have. I mean, I don't know of a whole lot of players that week one will be running for a touchdown and pull a hamstring bad enough where they've got to go down uh, and then be able to come back. Uh, you know, two weeks later or whatever, and be playing at the high level he is right now says a lot about him. Um, and we'll, we'll get him 100% here in the near future. And uh, I like the way he's playing right now. He's among the nation's leading scorers, Gus. Just what it, is he starting to now reach with this getting closer and closer to full health? What would you guys think? You know, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, he's a heck of a running back. And he, he doesn't just, y'all see him run. But if you watch him pass protect, you watch him check down and everything that does it, he does everything right. And he's, uh, he's a complete football player. Do the wide receivers continue to take one more step every week? I think so. They're, they're starting to play with confidence. And, you know, we talked about earlier in the year that, you know, hey, uh, each game we need to get a little bit better. And, you know, my focus is them blocking. I mean, we, we got to get where we block consistently. And I think we've improved. And obviously you can see they're attacking the football, um, you know, better and wanting the ball. I think they're doing a good job of getting open. And they're playing with a lot of confidence. We just got to keep improving, you know, in, in that area and keep it improving on the blocking. Guys, can you talk about it looks like you're trying to play faster today at times? Yeah, yeah. I mean, tempo is, is really, uh, you know, that's who we are. I mean, you know, we're, that's what we pride ourselves in, running the football with tempo and, and taking shots. And, you know, I really think Chip is doing a super job with his tempo game. I think he's doing a good job of mixing the run and the pass. And, uh, you know, in the second half right there, I mean, you know, you're, you're up by, 35 points and you want to you know get the game over and all that but I thought uh, he's done an outstanding job the last three weeks and he's starting to get in a groove with his offense Pet Davis and Trey Williams. Yeah, Petway, we, we, we held him out. We're going to try to get him healthy because uh, the way we've been doing it, it's not working, letting him play a little bit and all that. So we'll see if we can get him healthy. Javaris uh, wasn't healthy enough to go. I mean, obviously, he's one of our best defenders. You know, when you're playing a passing team like that, it's extremely tough. And, you know, and then, you know, Trey's been battling the uh, same injury for a while, and he's a tough guy and trying to get out there and compete. And we'll Coach, see. Obviously, everyone's important, but. Considering the next three games are away, I mean, how big of a momentum shift is this for your team to continue to execute down the road? 
Well, you know, we, we've got, uh, obviously, we got a, a tough one next week on the road at a place that we hadn't won in a long time on the road. So, you know, we'll be motivated for that one, I promise you that. And then, of course, then I think we go on the road again, and then we get a break. So, you know, we're really just trying to take this thing in segments. Uh, we got two more weeks before, um, you know, our break. We're going to be very smart in practice. Uh, but I like where we're at. And, uh, you know, last time we played on the road, we, we played well. Not quite as many deep shots this week in Jarrett. You, you know, I think it was because the game got out of hand in the first half. So, you know, we still got some more. We still got plenty more. And, uh, you know, so I wouldn't read anything into that. I mean, that's who we are. We'll run. Chip's going to throw it deep. Our guys like throwing it deep. Um, I thought we were pretty efficient again. I mean, what was Jared again? I mean, he was pretty efficient. So I really like the direction he's going in the passing game with his efficiency protecting the football. About Davis's play. Yeah, big time, wasn't it? That was nice. And, and, you know, when you see that play, there's always things that really make it special. And uh, our left tackle, Golson, made an unbelievable block on the corner. That was the hard one to get it started. We had some receivers on the backside, uh, two receivers and a tight end that did a super job staying with their guys the whole time. And, you know, he's electric when he gets the ball in his hands. And that was a huge play right there that, uh, you know, gave us some breathing room. Was that some kind of variation of Woody? What's that? Was that some kind of variation of Woody just because Ryan was lined up low behind the lines? What, what's Woody? <laughs> <laughs> what, what were the challenges in trying to stop Shea Patterson? Because the last two 300-yard games against this defense are by Ole Miss quarterbacks. You know, hey, he, first of all, he's – He's a really good quarterback, and those receivers are, are really talented. But, you know, I mean, we, we put our twos in there pretty late, you know, and so I thought our ones did a very good job, uh, you know, dealing with their passing game. How has Daniel Carlson affected the team beyond his ability? You know, Daniel's one of our, our, our team leaders. Uh, he's earned that. Um, he's got respect from both sides of the football and the coaches. And, you know, he's not looked at just as a kicker on our team. I mean, he is, uh, he's one of our leaders. He's one of our spokespersons. Um, I can't say enough great things about Daniel Carlson as a person, but he is a super competitor. You could put him at wide receiver, and I truly believe he'd be a really good wide receiver, too. He's just got that mentality. Mike Horton, how's he doing? Uh, you know, he had to come out. Uh, he, I think he had another relapse on his ankle. You know, he hurt his ankle the other day. I think he relapsed that. I mean, we'll, we'll see where that where that goes. Is the hope to, to bring Petway along with you on the road at LSU next week? Do you think he'll be healthy we'll, enough? You know, we'll, we'll see. I just, you know, it's just what we've been doing up to this point is not working. You know, where we play him a little bit. And so we just made the decision, hey, we're going to hold him out. Uh, he didn't hardly do anything at practice. He did a lot of treatment. We'll do something similar uh, this week. We'll see where he's at. And when he gets close to 100%, then, then we'll get him back out there and, and get him going. And, you know, I'd really like to to see him and KJ 100%. I think it could be a lot of fun. That's next week of the game seven, second half of the regular season schedule. How's the team come along and how much potential do you got? You know, we, we, we knew we had a chance to be a, a pretty good team in the off season. Got off to a tough start, had a few growing pains in some areas. And you can see them starting to come together as a complete team. Now, we hadn't arrived yet, okay, by any means. But you can see us, our team is trying to improve each week. They're practicing extremely hard with urgency. And they're getting up for every game so far. The challenge is we got to continue to do that because very few teams around the country can do that. And that's our challenge. That's our challenge to our coaches. That's our challenge to our players. And we're going to keep the hammer down, and we're going to continue to send that message. How do, you evaluate, how do you evaluate the pass defense when you know an opponent's going to throw as much as that and nobody had thrown for that much since then last year? So just how do you evaluate their performance after a game where you, you know, I mean, I, you know, I think what was it, our, our first defense held them to 10 points. You know, and I think if our first defense would have stayed in there, it probably would have been 10 points. So I wouldn't read too much into that. I think our defense is one of the best defenses in college football. You do got to give them credit. That's I think they came in leading the SEC in passing, if I remember right. And they're going to pass it just about every time. So that's what they do. I'm extremely proud of our defense. Um, they're, they're, they're doing a super job. I mean, they played outstanding defense the first half of the season. I would compare it to any, any group in the country. And, you know, they've got an edge about them. Um, and and I'm, I'm, glad they're, I'm glad they're playing for Auburn. Anything else? All right, good. Thank, Thank you. you.